Hi, Rich Spazano here from Digitally Fearless, and this is the iPad version on my number 30 of Powerful Tools of Affinity. I already did a desktop version, so if you're on the desktop, please look for that. And this time, we're going to try out the channel mixer. And there's many things you could do with the channel mixer, but in this tutorial, I'm going to change this fall scene into a summer scene, and it's quick and easy. So before we start, please click that like and subscribe button, and let's get started. Okay, I have the description of this photo. I got it on stock photos from Unsplash. The link is in the description below. So what I'm going to do next is I'm going to go right up here. I'll use my finger. And if you don't know what that is, if you hold down on the question mark, you can see all the different studios. And that studio is the adjustment studio. So I'll go to adjustments and I'll pick channel mixer. Now that I'm in my layers, I'm selecting channel mixer. And on the bottom right here, you'll see it says RGB. And they have red, green, blue. And I'm going to go back to red. And red is 100% red. And of course, zero and zero for green and blue, because that's the red channel. But I'm going to change that. So if I click there, instead of 100%, I'm going to go minus 100. And in green, I'm going to click there and go plus 100. And in blue, I'm going to go plus 100 also. So now this looks pretty decent, but you can do a little bit more. So now what I'll do is I'll go back to here on the channels. And up on top here, I'm going to change the mode, the mode to darken, which I think gives it a little bit of a better look. And then go back to the layers. So now what I'll do is I'm going to go Merge Visible, and that's right up here where the layers are. I'll click that and say Merge Visible, which gives me a new layer. I could turn these off in case I need to adjust them. And I think this can use a little bit of a better situation. So I could, by the way, before I did that, I'll put these back on. Before Merge Visible, I could have also cut back the opacity if you wanted to go more toward the yellows and the greens. But I was going to leave it just the way it was. So I already did the merge visible. So that's your choice right there. So I'm going to hide these two. Let's see. Hide, hide, and bring that one up. And now that that's green, what I can do now is go to adjustments and then curves. Curves should be on top. So now I'll go to curves. And I'm going to brighten it up a little, just like that. And I think that looks actually pretty good, but I might bring some of the darkness, the shadows a little bit down. Just kind of a nice S curve, like kind of like that. I actually want to brighten it even more if you want it more of a spring day. And I think that's it. So I hope you liked this tutorial. And if you did, please click like and subscribe and have a great day. Thanks so much. Bye.